Now, some players, they, they tend to need me to tell them this little tip. So what the downswing is like then, in a way, is like pulling on a rope in an old church. If you stand over here one more time, let me just do one more demonstration for you. So think of it like this. If I have the handle, right, all the way over here, and if I was holding a rope and I was going to pull a bell, I'm going to naturally get my legs strong on the ground and stable to drag the rope. My legs, I want them fixed to the ground while pulling on something. Because if, if they're not fixed to the ground, I, the leverage, yeah. I have no leverage, yeah. right? So lifting a, your foot early while you're trying to make your downswing, do you have more power or less? Definitely less, yeah. Right? So you want to keep your feet flat. So it's important to think of it that way. It's like I get stood up, okay, my feet are flat, straight back, right? And then drag the rope, right? Now, like we said, as we're dragging the rope, we got to supinate too. Yeah. And that's kind of the trick, trick of it, because as you lag it more, you're gonna need that supination trick that I was starting to tell you about. Now look, so imagine that's a rope, right? So of course my legs, look at my feet. My feet are gonna stay flat on the ground to drag my elbow, right? And I wouldn't slide to pull the rope, right? I'm gonna keep my legs stable on the ground. So to help you feel that, do this, get in your golf setup. Get, re get ready to go for me here, sir. Yeah, your legs are on the ground. Yeah. Your legs couldn't, you couldn't try to move them. You had to hold them on the ground. Nope, you lifted your foot again. Yeah. Do it again. Keep your feet on the ground. Drag the rope. There you go. That's, that's stronger. That's more powerful to do. Right? One more time. Let me resist you again. Drag me back. Drag me down. And drag me down. You feel it? Yeah. That's where your power is holding the ground while you drag your elbow. 